Hello and welcome to my YouTube channel Civil Line. Myself Milan Patel, Assistant Professor at LJ Institute of Engineering and Technology. Today's topic is Leveling Survey. This is the third lecture of this topic. In previous lecture, we have discussed two topics, various terms used in leveling and benchmark and its types. In today's lecture, we will cover classification of direct leveling. So, without wasting much time, let's begin classification of direct leveling. Basically, there are a number of classification of direct leveling. First is simple leveling, second is differential leveling, third is fly leveling, fourth is profile leveling, fifth is cross section leveling, sixth is check leveling, and seventh is reciprocal leveling. So, there are seven types of leveling we will study in this lecture. Let's start with simple leveling. So what is simple leveling? We will understand by this figure. Suppose there is an uneven ground. We will take two points on this uneven ground and our goal is to find out the level difference between these two points. For that we have to do a setup of dumpy level in between these two points. Okay, Like this. O is the setup of dumpy level. After setting up the instrument, we will take our first reading on station number A. This reading is called as H1. After taking the readings at station number A, we will take our reading at station number B like this. This reading is H2. Okay. To find out the level difference between two points A and B, we have to calculate the difference between H1 and H2. Okay. So the difference between H2 and H1 gives level difference between A and B. Okay, This is called a simple type of leveling where only one setup is required to find out the level difference between two points and the setup is at the center position between these two points. Okay, This is called a simple leveling. Okay, It is used for determining elevation difference of two points which are visible from a single position of instrument. It is determined by setting the leveling instrument midway between the points. The level difference between two points is found out by taking the difference between the two staff readings like H2 minus H1. Okay? This is called as a simple type of leveling where only one setup is required. Now let's move to the second type of leveling which is differential type of leveling. Okay? We will understand this by figure. Suppose this is an uneven ground. Okay, There are two points A and B and our goal is to find out the level difference between these two points A and B. Okay, Here these two points are far away from each other like uh, 1 kilometer or yeah, 10 kilometer away from each other. The distance is too long Okay, and the level difference between this point is also large. In this type of condition differential type of leveling is used where only one setup cannot fulfill our requirement to find out the level difference between this point. Number of setups are required. Okay, like this. Suppose this is the first setup O1. We will take the readings at station number A. The first reading is taken is called SBS. After that, we will find out the last reading of this setup, which is FS. After taking the last reading FS, we will move this instrument to the next setup like this. This is a setup number O2. Okay. And take the readings where the last reading is taken. Okay. This point where two step readings are taken for first setup FS, second setup PS. This station is called as changing point. Here, this is a changing point 1. Okay. Then after, we will take FS, which is the last reading. Because after this point, okay, this O2 setup cannot be used because it is out of the range. So this is the last reading, so it is called as FS. After this, third setup is prepared onto the ground and readings are taken. Okay, this is a BS, this is called as changing point. Then we can take the staff reading as station number B. Okay, this is FS. To find out the level difference here. Number of setups are required like O1, O2, and O3. One setup cannot do.
to this level difference between these two points because the distance is too large the level difference is more okay this is called as the differential type of leveling okay it is used when two points having large elevation difference are situated quite apart in this method the level is set up at several suitable positions and staff readings were taken till the last point can be cited like b okay this is called as differential type of leveling now let's discuss the third type of leveling which is fly leveling let's discuss it by figure suppose this is an uneven ground our goal is to prepare the profile of this uneven ground for that number of points are marked onto the ground and find out the level difference of this number of points okay but here we have to find the level difference from the reference to the mean sea level okay so that we have to use the benchmark for that but benchmark is far apart than this strata like this this is the benchmark which is far from the starting point p so we have to transfer the level from benchmark to the starting point to do this transformation fly leveling is used okay it is one type of differential leveling which is used to transfer the level of benchmark to the starting point so here we can do number of setups like o1 o2 o3 okay then we can take number of readings suppose we can see in this there is a o1 setup this is the benchmark first reading is taken as bs okay this is bs second is fs okay like this okay this is the changing point one after this o2 setup is used okay like this and bs reading is taken okay this is the bs reading then last reading of o2 setup is obtained and changing point 2 can be obtained then o3 setup is there then take bs reading and at the last we can transfer the readings to starting point p okay like fs so by doing differential type of leveling by using number of setups we are transferring the level from benchmark to the starting point p okay this type of leveling is called as fly leveling when differential leveling is done in order to connect a benchmark to a starting point of the alignment of any project it is called as fly leveling it is done for checking the accuracy of the work okay the level should be midway of two points and distances are taken okay this is called as fly leveling now let's move to the fourth type of leveling which is profile type of leveling suppose there is a one road having starting point p ending point q we have to prepare the profile of the road our goal is to prepare profile of this road for that number of points are marked onto the road here in profile leveling all the points are marked in the line of the road okay like this these are the points 1 2 3 4 5 6 etc okay the distance between this point is similar like this after marking the points onto the road we have to find the level of all these points for that number of setups are required like o1 o2 o3 and number of readings are taken like first is bs at station mp s station number 1 is s station number 2 is because the range of 1 is to station number 3 so last reading is fs after taking the last reading the instrument was shifted from o1 to o2 and the readings were taken like this so first reading at station number 3 from setup number o2 is bs then is and the last reading is fs after that the instrument was shifted from o2 to o3 and readings were taken like this bs and fs this is how we can calculate the levels of all these points okay here also number of setups are used to find out the levels of the points which are at the alignment of the road okay this is called as profile level okay it is one type of differential leveling done for the purpose of determining the elevation of ground surface along the alignment of the road, canal, railway, etc. 
It is also called as longitudinal leveling. It is useful for finding out the gradients and estimating the earthwork quantities. Okay, this is where profile leveling is used. Okay, now let's discuss the fifth type of leveling, which is cross section leveling. Here also there is one road, but the difference in cross section leveling from longitudinal leveling is the points. Here the points are marked exactly perpendicular to the alignment of the road. Okay, and the levels of each points are found out. Okay, here the distance between these points are also similar, and the spacing between these points is also similar throughout the work. Okay, it is also one type of differential leveling which is used to determine the level difference of the ground surface along the lines perpendicular to the alignment of the road, railway, or canal. Cross sections are taken at regular intervals such as 20 meter. 40 meters, 60 meters, etc. Okay, but this distance should be similar throughout the work. Okay, this is called as cross section type of leveling. This leveling is done simultaneously with profile leveling. Okay, so profile leveling as well as cross section leveling is done simultaneously to make the profile of the whole road. Okay, by using this profile leveling and cross section leveling, we can calculate the quantities of cutting, filling in the earthwork or in the preparation of the road or in the construction of the road okay now the next type of labeling is check labeling the name itself says it is used for checking the accuracy of the work okay so after completing the whole work check labeling is started suppose there is one road p is the starting point t is the ending point in Days work, we have calculated number of points and their levels like Q, R, S, etc. But after completing days work at the evening time, we have to do the check level. For that, we have to transfer level from ending point to the starting point by means of differential leveling. Okay, like this. Suppose this is a station number O1. Okay. Here only first reading and last readings are taken because in between the levels of the points are already calculated. So we have just checking the work which we have completed in holding. So from setup over, first we will do staff reading at station number T, which is the ending point, which is called as BS because it's a first reading. Okay. After that, the last reading was taken from setup number O1 which is called as FS. After that, this O1 setup is shifted from O1 to O2 and first reading is taken at changing point 1 like this which is called as BS. After that, the last reading was taken which is FS. Then setup is changed from O2 to O3 and first reading is taken and lastly we can find the starting point P because it's the last reading it is called as FS. This is how we transfer the level from ending point to starting point with less number of readings. Okay. It is also one type of differential leveling because number of setups are used. It is done for the purpose of checking the elevation which we have already calculated or obtained. Check leveling is done from last point to starting point for checking the accuracy of day's work. This is where check leveling is used. Now let's discuss the last type of leveling which is reciprocal type of leveling. Let's understand by one figure. Suppose this is the one type of ground condition where the center position is filled up with water or there is a one river is passing from this. Our points are at two banks of the river. Okay, And we have to find out the level difference between these points. To find out the level difference, we cannot do our setup in between this because of the water. In this type of condition, reciprocal type of leveling is used. For that, first we have to do our setup at one bank like this and take the readings at station number P. This reading is called as A1. After taking the readings at P, we will take the readings at Q. Okay, like this. 
is given. But this city, because of the curvature of the earth, this line is the collimation line. Okay. This is the actual horizontal line and this is the level line. Okay. Because of this, we have one error which can be occurred because of the curvature of the earth. Okay. So we cannot calculate the actual level difference by deducting B1 minus A1 because of this error. So we have to do number of readings and average the readings for that. So for that we have to do another setup like this and at the another bank of the river we do setup now. We take one reading, first reading at station number Q which is B2. After that we take the readings at station number P like this which is called as A2. Okay. Here also because of the curvature of the earth the line is collimation line. Okay. This is the horizontal line. This is the level line. Okay. And this is the error. Here the difference between this two staff reading is delta H2 which is A2 minus B2. To find out the actual level difference we cannot use only delta H1 or only delta L2. We have to take the average of delta H1 and delta H2 for accurate level difference. This reciprocal type of labeling is basically used for determining the difference of elevation of two points which are situated on the opposite banks of the river like this. In this labeling, the level is set up on both banks of the river or valley and two sets of staff readings are taken by holding the staffs on the banks. And finally, we can calculate the level difference by averaging these two level difference delta h1 and delta h2. So delta h is equal to delta h1 plus delta h2 divided by 2. b1 minus a1 plus a2 minus b2 divided by 2. This is how we can calculate the level difference between two points which are situated apart each other on the opposite banks of the river. Okay. This is where reciprocal type of labeling is used. Okay? That's all about classification of direct labeling. I hope you all understand these seven types of labeling. See you soon in the next lecture. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe to my YouTube channel, Civil Line. Thank you.